Well, you can see it's pretty windy today here in Idaho. Uh, we're going to do a project here that's been on the list for quite a while. This uh, rubber boat needs a boat cover built for it. So that's what we're going to work on. This is going to be quite a project. might take me a day or two. Uh, it'll have some challenges here, but uh, we'll work through them. One of the bigger challenges is going to be how to deal with this motor on the back. We'll work our way through it. We're going to build one cover that goes from the front of the boat up and over the steering column and back over the top of the motor. At least that's the plan right now. We'll see how it works when we get going. Well, like I said, we're going to build a cover. We're going to run it up and over the top of the steering column and over the motor. There are different ways to do this. You can run your runs of fabric across it this way. Or you can run your fabric in one long run this way. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut two pieces of fabric and sew it together and run it up and over the top of this. So for now I'm going to measure on my front. We're going to go with two 18 foot pieces. We'll sew them together and then we'll come out and put it on. Alright, I got my pieces all cut. I've got two 18 foot pieces. They're five foot wide. And we're going to sew them together. Turn it into one great big tarp. So it'll be 120, by eight, 120 inches by 18 feet. So we'll just work our way through the process and we'll tune back in when I get it all together and Frenched in the middle, fold it over and sew, top sewed down. We'll just work our way through it. We got our pieces sewed together, now we'll put it up over the boat and start fitting it. It'll be a little hard, it's kind of windy today. We'll see how it goes. Okay, you can see how I've anchored that down with an upholstery pin to that uh, two inch strap. I ran a two inch strap all the way up over the top of the boat, kind of to mark my center. And here at the back of the boat, I put an upholstery pin through there as you can see, and then I put a, a string around it, anchored it here to the jet, and pulled it tight. So I have a straight line up and over the center of the boat. Now I'll go around the sides of the boat and fasten it down in a couple of places and we'll start fitting it. Okay, I got it secured on the front. Right here on the side. See how we hook those pins in there with the string. Got it secured back here on the back. Same way. And along here in the back course on the opposite side in opposite locations. Now with the cover secured down I'll start fitting it and putting darts along here and taking out the slack. I'm going to show you how I do that. You can see this boat has a line around it here, kind of a splash guard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit my cover to that all the way around the whole boat. Then I'll come back in and I'll put a boxing along that edge down. It has my rope in it. But anyway, I'm gonna to fit to this box or to this line all the way around the whole boat. Now you can see as this cover folds around here, it's got all this extra, extra because of the curves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come along, we're gonna put darts in it. Um, so how we fit it, we're gonna fold those in just like that. We'll mark those. We'll probably put two or three around the corner here. We gotta determine the best place to put them. Probably start with one right here. Okay, that's pretty tight around there. I'll mark that one. I'll probably uh, mark that with my pencil right here. And then that dart folds right on up 
the cover. I'm marking this with a pencil. I should be doing this with yellow chalk. I just don't happen to have any yellow chalk right now. And we want to mark the top fold. So you can see where I've, I've drawn this in. I'll take that in on my machine. When it comes time and I get all of my other darts folded in, then I'll sew those darts out. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to have another one somewhere about right here. Okay. So I'll mark it here and here. That's going to fold in up here. So I just mark my dart line right down that edge. And then I mark the edge of it out here. I open that up see that dart we'll just continue that right on up just like so so when we pulled fold this one in here we fold this one in here it takes up that extra slack and I'll just work my way right on around the boat and put darts in wherever I need it I'll do that on both sides and then uh, while I'm marking it, I'll also mark the edge here that I'm fitting it to where my boxing is going to go. I pulled that dart in. Right here is my edge. Right there's my edge. Right around there. like that I'll do that all the way around the boat and when I cut this I've got to cut it on the half an inch on this side to take account for my seam okay I got my darts all sewed in around the edges looking pretty good okay we just got to work on the back I finally got some colored chalk I had to run into town to get that basically just gonna put some darts around here uh, to, to work this edge out here um, we'll fit this down. I'm just going to draw my lines down here. And this is my edge that I'm going to fit to where my boxing is going to go. I'll sew that dart out right there. And we're going to run our edge about to here. Put our boxing around that. Do the same on the other side, and the same up here on the motor. We'll fold the dart in here on the motor and draw them down. Okay, it might be a little hard to see, but right here I have to put a reinforcement in. I got some ore locks on this boat underneath. Um, we'll reinforce it here. And then up here on the top, I don't know if you can see that where my center console is, the steering wheel sticks up and the the tower is right here, so I outlined it in chalk where we need to reinforce underneath the cover so that won't wear out. And we'll do the same here on the motor cover. We'll reinforce this around here on the underside. And then back on these corners here, we'll put a reinforcement in there as well. Corners have a tendency to wear, so we'll reinforce those. So I transferred the chalk to the inside of the cover. And then I cut my circular reinforcements, sprayed them with some glue, and I'll glue them in place, then I'll sew them. Okay, I've got the back all darted out, sewed up. All the reinforcements are put on. Got to cut out a couple of holes here for handles. But actually, I strap it to the trailer with. Got the edges marked all the way around. Now it's time for the boxing. 
We're going to do a 10 inch right here in the front, taper it out to a 6 inch all the way around. And I'll show you how that's going to work. At this point, you just figure out where your boxing is going to go and where your seams are going to be. I've got a seam here, another seam here. That was a mistake. A seam here. And then they go quite a ways apart. 57 inches a seam. A seam. And that will take me around to the back. So I'll pull my cover off and uh, start fitting my boxing. Okay, we're at the last point here. We're going to do the boxing. And I've cut the boxing into pieces around the boat, and you'll see why. I'm fitting this boxing. So it's going to follow the contour of the boat. It's not just going to hang down. We want it to fit the contour here as we go. So the first piece, you can see I've made these cutouts because there's some handles that stick through and then a, a part here that the boat anchors onto the trailer with, as you can see maybe right there. Um, so I've had to cut out around those and I'll show you how I do that. But anyway, first boxing is gonna go in and I taped it in place and I marked my top. You'll see here on the top, it angles up. So we're gonna trim that and then you'll see here that this isn't a straight up and down because I'm going to do the contour. This next piece will fit to this exact spot and they'll sew together and it'll hold that shape. It'll become apparent as I fit a couple of them up and show you. Um, but we're going to fit it to the same place and we're going to cut out here a half an inch for our, to allow for our sewing. All right, I'm ready to fit the next piece. So in this boat cover, I have to cut a few holes for handles and uh, attachment points onto the boat that need to be accessed through the cover. So I'm going to show you how we do that. Um, so if this is the hole I've got to have cut, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another piece of fabric underneath this. And then I'm going to sew around this hole. And then I'll come in behind and cut on the edge with the scissors. And then we'll invert it and re-sew it. Probably sounds a little confusing, but I'll show you the process. I'm just going to sew around my circle. And I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I've just sewed around it. Now I'll show you we're going to cut around it. All right, now we're just going to cut around the edge about a quarter of an inch or so from my seam. Okay, you can see how I've cut around that now. Now I'm just gonna turn this top piece inside out. I'm gonna fold this all the way under. It's a little tedious at the beginning, but once you get going, it'll, it'll be a lot better. Okay, so there it is, sewed. Now I'll just come along and trim it along the edge here and it'll lay down a lot nicer. I'll just come in here with my scissors and I'll trim around this edge. Anyway, a little practice, you'll get them to where they turn out pretty good, but um, that's how I do my, my circles. Okay, so there's a seam on the boat right here that comes down and goes all the way through. I'm fitting to that mark. So I'm gonna tape my next bar, uh, piece of boxing up I'm gonna fit it to that mark right there and it'll be matching the one beside it. Okay, this piece is gonna to fit to that same line. And this is my top. So I can feel it right there, right there, right there, right there. And it's gonna take the contour of the boat Okay, now I'll trim. Remember, I gotta leave a half an inch here for my seam. That's why my top is this way. Okay, my boxing is gonna end right here. Now I've chalked a line that I'm gonna fit to. So right there is gonna be this way. And I mark my top edge around like a so. And see that line, I'm gonna fit to that line It just comes right down. Okay, so I'm gonna mark this out. Uh, my next boxing will come 
and it'll butt up to this one so it's going to fit into this same line. Now these first few boxings are going to be shorter pieces because there's a lot of contour in the boat. You make them too long, you end up having a whole bunch up here you have to cut off. So you do them in short pieces to get going. And once we get back here where the boat straightens out, then they can be long the width of the roll. The other thing I forgot to mention is this first boxing we're going to call zero. This boxing here we're going to call number one. The next one will be down there will be number two and so on. Okay, we're just moving our way down. We're gonna fit to that same line. It follows the contour. It's just a little different here, not much, because we're starting to uh, straighten out. Anyway, we come down our top. Okay, so our line is right here. We're gonna fit to that line. Come straight down the boat. That's the line we'll fit the next one too. As you can see here, we're getting to the straight part of the boat here. From here on down, it's pretty much straight, so there's not gonna be a whole lot of fitting. But anyway, we just butt each piece up and fit to it. Remember that we allow when we cut our half an inch here for our seam, so there won't be a whole lot of fitting from here to the back. Now, one thing I would also mention, we only have to fit the one side of the boat. We'll make a mirror image of the boxing for the other side. All right, it's time to start cutting our boxings and get them sewed together. So where I fit them out, we need to allow a half an inch seam. And also on the bottom of the boxing, I'm going to be putting on a hem that's an inch and a quarter wide. Okay, and in that I'll put my rope that I'm going to use on my, on my uh, cover. Okay, so we don't just come along with our scissors here and just cut up this line. We're going to fold, take into account the folds that go on our boxing. So we're gonna put a half an inch fold and then we're gonna come up here to the three inch mark and that is going to make a finished inch and a quarter boxing. So I wanna hold that there just like so and now I'm going to cut my allow for my half an inch seam and I'm just going to cut that right on up. Now you'll notice when we unfold that it puts an angle in there. Now here's the boxing piece uh, that it butts up to, the one that was at the front and you can see I've already cut. I folded that up and cut it and in the process it gave me an opposite angle of this one. So I will sew these together, and then when I fold my boxing under, those will line up perfectly. It'll become a little more apparent when I sew one. But anyway, that's how we do that process. Of course, our top hangs out a little bit, so we're gonna trim that down to our half an inch boxing um, all the way around. Okay, there's our half an inch boxing on the top. Now let's do the same on this end. Remember that's gonna fold in and it folds over. And I drew a line here at three inches just to help me uh, get it exact. So I'm gonna turn it over, holding that in place. Take my scissors, allowing for my half an inch boxing. There we go. Now you can see there's not a whole lot of angle there because remember the boat got flat as I went towards the back. So there's not a whole lot of fitted uh, in, fitting in that uh, boxing as we go back. They'll be pretty much straight. All right, so I'll cut them all the rest out. Then I'll make exact opposites for them. And then I'll sew them all together and we'll be ready to sew it on to the main body of the cover. Okay, the next step in the process is we're just gonna sew all of our boxings together. 
So we're gonna have one great big giant boxing that will go all the way around the boat cover once we get them all sewed together and Wrenched, uh, each seam then we'll sew them on the cover okay I've got my boxing all sewed together all finished on the seams now I'm gonna start sewing it on the boat cover in the front center I'll work my way around one side then I'll turn the cover over and work my way around the other and get it all on then we'll probably throw it on the boat just to see how it fits before I finish it and uh, to finish the back corners all right, I got my boxing all sewed on. Now I'm gonna sew my rope in. Just gonna sew it all the way around. And then before I uh, finish this edge here, I'll go put it on the boat and make sure everything fits before I put that final hem on it. Okay, I got her all put on. I hemmed that rope in the bottom. Looking pretty good. A couple things here on the back, I'll add a buckle uh, to go around that jet. Other than that, looks pretty good. Okay, I got her done. I reinforced it a little bit there. Put a, a strap over it, goes underneath the jet. And then the rope. Hold her down nice and tight. All right, that's a wrap. You know the drill. Subscribe if you haven't, like if you do. Also, if you want more notifications, hit that bell. There'll be a lot more videos coming. Thanks for watching and uh, Hope you're having a great day.